Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Celluloid Heroes by the Kinks. It's a D chord to an A chord. G back to D. F sharp minor to a B minor to a G chord and then an A. And then a B minor to an F sharp minor. G to an A. And then a D7 chord to a G chord. And then an A to a note there. All right, so you need a D chord. Fourth string, third string, second string, second fret. That's your D. If you do it with your two, three, and four fingers like I did it, your next chord, A, is easy. You leave your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, add the uh, third string, first fret, that's your A chord. Then you need a G chord. Uh, third string, second fret, first string, second fret, uh, second string, third fret, that's my G. Then in the song they go back to D, which you know. Then we need an F sharp minor. If you get it with two, three, and four like I did, you can leave that middle finger down again on the, uh, so the F sharp minor is fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret, and the second string, uh, second fret. <laughs> F sharp minor. All right, and then you need a B minor. You're gonna have to bar the second fret and hook in on the 4th string, 4th fret. Just like that. That's a B minor. Then you need your G chord again, which you know, and your A chord again, which you know. Then the B minor, then the F sharp minor, then the G, then the A. Your next new chord is a D7. So I got my A chord. I'm going to go to a D7. I'm going to leave my middle finger right where it is on the 4th string, 2nd fret. Add the 2nd string, 2nd fret. That's a D7 chord. Then G chord, then an A, and then back to D, and that's your verse. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the strum pattern. The D chord at the beginning. Uh, this strum pattern is what you use for almost all the song. So it's down, 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 up, just like that. Wicked simple. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that's your strum pattern for the entire verse, which is the big section in the song. Uh, let's see, let's run through it again. I'll, I, I'm going to try and s sing the melody of the song as I do the chords. You know, like, uh, everybody's a dreamer and everybody's a star. So you got your D. Uh, so D chord to an A chord and a G chord back to D. F sharp minor to B minor, and then a G chord to an A, and then a B minor to an F sharp minor, and then a G chord to an A, and then a D7 to a G chord, and then an A to a D. I'm supposed to keep strumming there, but D. Okay, that's your verse. Hopefully you can catch on to that. Okay, in the chorus you're going to need a new chord, a C chord. First string, third fret. That's it. That's your last real chord. Uh, well, anyway, we'll get to it. All right, so the chorus is a C chord, same strum pattern, to a G chord, and then we're going to go to the D chord, but here we're going to change our strum. It's going to be down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So this is the first chord that's kind of taken up a whole measure. Everybody else has been two beats each. And uh, this one takes up, uh, gets the four beats. So we're going to have to do, come up with a new strum pattern. So it's the same strum pattern, we're just adding some extras to it. So it's like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And uh, so the chorus sounds like this. It's, what are the words? Uh, you can see all the stars as you walk down Hollywood. Just keeps repeating C to a G, some you never heard of D. to a G chord and a D and a C to a G to a D okay that's um, that's the chorus it's a C G D and you repeat it four times in a row and of course the D is twice as long as everybody else um, and that's it for the chorus. Now what you can do, what they do, is on the D chord they add a lot of susses. So they, they um, on the ook what you would do is 
your second string you want to move up to the third fret to get a sus and then you release it so the D chord would sound a lot like it back to D. You could even do like a James Taylor type thing where you're going three, two, open, two. That's all on the second string is what I'm yelling out there. Or you could just go to the third fret, second string, third fret is a D sus four, and then release it back to a D second fret. So uh, that's the chorus. It's a C, G to a D. stuff like that. They definitely do it in the song. So, Okay, that's your chorus. So it's the uh, same progression four times in a row. Add those sus fours as you see fit. Not a big deal. Um, so let's go over the form of the song because you've got everything you need now. you got your verse and then another verse. Then they do that chorus. Then a verse and another verse. Then they do the chorus. So verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus. Then, for some reason, they got one more verse, and then they go to the outro. The outro is the same thing as the chorus, except it's much, much longer. So it's a C, G to the D, and they do it like 16 times in a row. Um, and the only other thing you really have to remember is that the last two of those 16 in a row they just hit the chords once, like da 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 da, and then a C celluloid heroes G never really die or D. So the last two times um, they just strum the chord once, you know, and that's it. That's it for celluloid heroes. Hopefully you caught on, and uh, that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe and uh, play more ook. <laughs>